Hello and welcome to Chuck's Diecast and Model Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this car. This is the Koenigsegg uh, Jera RS. Uh, this model is built by AutoArt and is in 118 scale. This is a handsome car and uh, actually a very well made model. And uh, so let's uh, go ahead and discuss this particular car. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Koenigsegg, you're probably unfamiliar with supercars or even hypercars. Um, of course, they're a Swedish company. They are known for building basically the fastest cars in the world. And a, a version of this particular car actually set the world speed record for a car driven on public roads. Uh, this car set a speed record of, I believe, 278 miles an hour on a stretch of highway in Nevada in 2018. The reason why I got this particular model, besides the fact that the Koenigsegg Gajera is a cool car, is essentially because I've seen this particular car. I mean, they only made about, I think, 20 or 25 of them. I've seen a black uh, one in this color, red with a black stripe. Therefore, I can say that I've seen this car, so uh, prove me wrong. Uh, but this is, uh, again, by AutoArt, and it is uh, nicely detailed and uh, well, uh, you know, well executed. Uh, you can see here that it has really, really tight uh, door gaps. That's good to see. Um, the detail here uh, for everything is very crisp and very sharp. Uh, taking a look at the uh, front of the model here, you can see that uh, it does have this stripe which in the actual car is bare carbon fiber, uh, but in this particular case of course is a decal. Uh, it uh, does look very good, including the uh, Tony's like, badge there in the center, that looks pretty good as well. Detail on the headlights. Uh, looks good also. Um, the air dam itself is not decal, it is actually textured plastic to look like carbon, which doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, however, the extractor vents for the wheel wells, those are all carbon fiber decal and those look good. Okay, and kind of interesting to see that uh, the car has only one wiper and it has a lot of windscreen to wipe. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the uh, side of the vehicle. You can see here that it does have mesh in here for the radiator grill. Uh, the detail on the carbon fiber wheels is nicely done. It's not decal but it is textured and looks pretty decent. If you didn't know before, Koenigsegg was actually one of the first companies to even make carbon fiber wheels. I think Koenigsegg and also Ford with the Ford GT, maybe even with some early, some of the high performance versions of the Mustang, did offer carbon fiber wheels. Uh, but uh, those are kind of the first guys that did it. Detail on the uh, um, rotors there is pretty decent. You can see the perforations there for the uh, cooling holes and then also. Of course, the uh, brake calipers, not bad there. Uh, taking a look under the hood here, under the front hood, you can see here that, uh, well, I mean, there's not much to see. There's just a storage area here um, that's flocked, so that is a nice detail. Uh, there's apparently the uh, wiper motor and a some sort of a vent there, probably for um, getting air into the um, into the passenger compartment. So pretty decent of them to uh, do that there. Uh, taking a look at the back of the vehicle, uh, you can see here that this is mesh here, and you can see through it. Detail on the rear wing is nice, and that is also carbon fiber decal. So that looks good there too. Uh, detailing on the uh, underbody uh, extractors there for uh, downforce 
looks pretty nice as well uh, and uh, this is all uh, carbon fiber decal there too that looks good too by the way this wing does uh, also move up and down in case you want to show the car in the high downforce or low downforce appearance so again uh, not bad uh, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood here and it's pretty neat to see here that it does provide you with a couple of struts to hold up the engine that's a, a nice detail there engine itself looks pretty decent uh, I have seen under the hood of this car um, and uh, so it's pretty good representation here you can see these sort of a titanium look or some sort of a heat shielding for the uh, muffler and exhaust there's also a, a strut tie rod end uh, you can see here or a strut tie bar excuse me and you can see the shocks here that is real springs there in the shocks there too so that's nice detail there as well okay um, another thing about this uh, car that is nice is that uh, the roof comes off so you can get to uh, look at the interior a little bit better let me go ahead and try and get this off here it's not the easiest thing there we go and I'll go ahead and open the doors too um, and this is the famous thing about the Koenigsegg is the funky way their doors open I can't remember what Christian von Koenigsegg calls that uh, uh, action there on the doors but it is pretty neat you can see in here and let me go ahead and zoom in detail is pretty nice there uh, you can see uh, the instrument cluster in the center including you know what appears to be uh, the display on the screen steering wheel is good the pedals are great um, uh, you can even see the uh, turn signal stocks and all that sort of stuff here as well um, decals for the uh, instruments in the in the dash there as well and you can also see here that it has nicely detailed seats there too with uh, cloth seat belts and metal buckles there too so definitely uh, you know I guess you could say it's uh, worth what I paid for it it was not a cheap model and I'm pretty happy with it uh, it will now take of course place of uh, pride there in my collection and uh, I can go ahead and tell everybody that I've seen this car like I said so uh, that is it for today I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel take care